everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. I feel like it's been a minute since we've been in the lab. I know the last time we did a surgery episode, we were in the My Damn Kitchen, and it was a whole deal, but I'm feeling really good today, man. I'm kind of feeling a lot better about filming and stuff. I feel like the last few times that I've filmed and stuff like that, I felt, you know, I'm still kind of recovering from COVID. I'm not going to lie to you, man. It absolutely knocked me on my ass cheeks, Brad. I was on the floor, alright? I got knocked on the floor, absolutely, and even the way, like, I would talk when I was coming back, I was, like, still kind of getting over, a, like, a cough and trying to deal with, like, talking on video again, which kind of sounds a little bit weird, but, uh, anybody that's had it, I think anybody that can relate, unless, I don't know, maybe it just rocked me in the soul or something like that, but even my mental clarity and everything like that has continued to improve the, the further and further that I get along with the recovery, so I'm feeling a lot better today, man. We're gonna dive into some action figure appointment. We got a lot of figures right here some different things going on here today and uh, some stuff I wanted to experiment with some things like that so I think it should be a pretty good day of action figure appointment man so let's go ahead and dive into it and you guys can let me know down below if you guys had COVID or you know what your reaction was with the recovery and stuff like that man because I'm not gonna lie to you man I was I was I was I was hallucinating an ish so it was a time but let's go ahead and dive into the appointment man starting out first I'm not gonna start with the stretcher today we're gonna switch it up I'm gonna start over here with an AEW and a Mattel figure now I I know a lot of people wanted to see this swap, so I went ahead and plugged it in the appointment today just to see how the thing goes, but we do have the Elite 65 Rusev figure, and then we have the AEW Unmatched Miro figure, and I know a lot of people wanted to see what this head sculpt looked like over here and vice versa. I think that uh, like I like this head sculpt, but it kind of looks, you remember when I first got this figure, the head was all wonky, remember the eyes were like weird, I had to repaint them I think on an episode of surgery, so we're going we're gonna to play around with that, see how that fits and everything thing and uh, I like both of these figures a lot so we'll kind of see what those head swaps look like see if it fits see if it doesn't fit and you guys can uh, try that head swap out for yourselves I guess if you would like now if we move on to the next step I want to take since you guys know that we did get our new top picks Roman double jointed arms gold gauntlet beautiful looking Roman Reigns figure over here now I'm going to take my old one and I'm gonna make another promo head of the table so you guys know that we did get the top picks shirt right here with the head of the table now I don't have another promo Promo head Roman, but now that I'm saying that, I feel like I do have one. Now, hold up, just a second. Let me uh, let me go address this football game. So you know what, Brad? I actually do have a ponytail Roman. So that's even gonna make the fix up even better. We're gonna make a promo gear Roman out of my other elite Roman that I was using for my current Roman. But now that we have the new one, I can uh, go out with the old in with the newsies right here. So we're gonna take this Roman, fix him up a little bit, put the ponytail head sculpt on it, put the head of the table shirt, remove the gauntlets, and also put the fisted hand over here. Now, I will say, I am in the process of getting uh, a couple more of these Romans so that I can do the double gold gauntlet because people are trying to tell me that I can't go double go dual gauntlets because of the gloved hand, which makes no sense, Brad. All you have to do is put another one of these over here because he doesn't have a glove. He doesn't wear the glove on the left hand, Brad. So you can have double gold gauntlet Roman without having a left hand painted gold, Brad. You see, he only wears it on the right hand. All you have to do is get another one of these and put the gauntlet over there and bam, you have double gold gauntlet Roman. So hi. So if anybody was confused about that, Brad, I got it, I got it, we got it. All right, so that is promo Roman Reigns, head of the table. That will be a very fire one. Next up, guys, we also have a AEW switch with the unmatched Kenny. Now, I uh, I told you guys that I was trying to knock out some more Kennys or find some more Kennys, and it's because I want to do some cool swappages. Now, one thing that we're going to do is we're going to torso swap this Kenny with Santana over here, and it's going to look pretty sick, I think. Like, So basically, it's going to be Kenny Omega in all black, loose gear, kind of similar to his old bullet glove his old bullet club gear that he used to wear so i think that will be a really sick swap nothing you know with the aew figures you don't have to use heat and stuff so that is something that we absolutely love now we got to get into the jeff hardy fix-ups you guys know we have the new top picks jeff hardy right here and the first thing i wanted to do is you guys know that we already had the two-pack fye hardy boy set and that's pretty much this figure except it doesn't have double jointed arms but i love this face paint and i think putting this face paint over on the epic moments with the yellow sleeves and the blue and everything over here would be really dope and then uh, for some reason I want to put the pink with this color right here you guys see this color these blues are very similar so I think I'm going to put the elite 71 head over on the top picks and then I don't th I don't know if I'll put anything on the pink I may just pop this over here just to see what it looks like it's not going to look that great but we'll play around with it we'll see what comes of it and you guys know we like to do the Jeff Hardy fix up so we're going to do a triple head swap right here uh, going to track down more of these I'm hoping that this figure will be really easy to find at retail same as Roman 
reins so that we can get those fix-ups in there and play around with it, make some really cool gears and stuff because I have other stuff in my head for Roman and Jeff that uh, I also want to experiment with, but I need more of them to, you know, do the head swaps and stuff. But anyways, guys, let's shut the hell up and dive into our appointment and get into the, the good stuff. Now, I think the first thing that we can do is go ahead and take Roman Reigns right here, guys. Not going to be a very difficult swap whatsoever. I don't know if this head swap, if, it, if this, okay, so it is interchangeable. That's that's awesome. Sometimes I, I can't remember if the stuff is interchangeable, but uh, we're going to take the arm off right here, pull the gauntlet off, go over here as well, do the same thing. Very simple stuff. So this, this swap is one of those ones that you really don't even have to heat up because all the stuff's good. Now, uh, again, once I get another gold gauntlet Roman, again, this came off this arm. All I have to do is put it over here. It'll still fit. It'll still be great. It'll still have the logos, but it'll still be double gold gauntlet Roman, which I'm something that I really want to do. So I am looking forward to that day when we can do that swap. But uh, let's go ahead and plop the hand back in over here. So now we have no gauntlets on our Roman because this is supposed to be our promo gear. Again, back tattoo won't be showing because he'll have his t-shirt on, but here is the fisted hand. I don't know what figure this fisted hand came with. I don't know if it was a rock figure or what the case was. I know that they don't give, you know, Roman bare fists. They give him the gauntlet because he's, you know, he's wrestling and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and get the head of the table shirt, put it on the Roman Reigns. I really like the way these shirts have been fitting lately, man. It's like they, like, made the sleeves longer so they don't look as goofy. They actually look like how the superstars wear them, you know, tight around the bicep. They look nice. They look clean. So there it is, man, head of the table, and all we have to do is pop our promo uh, man bun head sculpt on here, and bam, Brad, now we have our head of the table Roman, and we can put that over there. Dude, I have so many elite Roman Reigns, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, promo gear, non-promo gear, 800 vest colors, it's kind of ridiculous, Bradley. But let's move on to our next thing. Our next thing is going to be the Kenny Omega. Again, shouldn't be a deal. Uh, I think I have one of these extra mock. I may have to order another one, because after I do this swap, uh, my loose Santana will no longer be a deal, so that'll be a thing. But all you have to do, guys, is just pop that off right here. We are going to remove the waist wrap, and here you go. You guys can see plain black tights, plain black kick pads. I saw somebody do one of his Bullet Club Elite gears using this as the base, and it looks so freaking sick, man. It would have been so great to have in the early stages of the pick bed, but if you switch that right there, and then you can just plop this torso onto that lower, and that looks pretty damn fire, Brad. I love the way that looks. That looks epic. Uh, the only thing is, is again, like, if he had the white cleaner kick pad, we'll look at it at the end. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin too much, but uh, there is that, and I guess if you wanted to, you can kind of put the freaking Santana, you could put the overalls over the gear right there, and then kind of pop that on there, and then bam, you got Santana with some Kenny Omega lowers on, and there you go. That, that sick AF. Best fix up of the whole video. Alright guys, so moving on to our last thing. You guys know that this Jeff Hardy actually doesn't even need heat because it is interchangeable heads, so I can put that over there, and then the Miro figure actually doesn't need heat either, so all we have to do is pop the heads off, but uh, one thing I've learned in the last few surgeries and appointments and stuff is that I have been heating up stuff too long, and that kind of scares me. Hopefully we don't melt any plastic or anything, but I do have to heat up this I don't think this, yeah, this Jeff head is not interchangeable, so we're going to have to put these in position and then uh, go ahead and take Rusev's Happy Rusev Day t-shirt off. We also learned that that I forgot to do last time, so we do want to do that real quick. God, I remember how great this figure is. Rusev Day on the trunks, man. What a freaking excellent elite. Underrated, man. Anyways, so getting over here and putting this stuff in the way of the heat, and I'm going to try and monitor that, to monitor that to the best of my ability so we don't have a situation like last time. Do have the white trusty hair dryer. We're going to go ahead and hit it, Brad, and uh, I'm going to monitor it this time and uh, take a look at how long I'm heating this stuff up because I'm not about to ruin these figures. I will absolutely blow my face off of my neck if that happens. Alright guys, that's as far as I'm willing to trust it, so we'll just have to, uh, you know, it's the white trusty hair dryer, but last time I, co I couldn't trust his ass, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and get in here and I'm not trusting that, man. I'm not trusting that. I don't I don't believe in that, man. You do not want to... Uh, we got that one off, so that's excellent. And I guess I can go ahead and pop this onto this figure, just because, you know, we said we were going to go ahead and plop this on here, which isn't going to look good, but, uh, you know, we can look at that at the end. And then the Rusev... Um, He's got the long beard, so it's kind of scary. God, I don't trust that either. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I may have to just do something else. I, I, uh, <laughs> All 
All right, Brad, go and add it once again. Let's see if this is good enough here. I just don't like that, man. All right, we got the Jeff Hardy head sculpt off. I'm gonna go ahead and plop it onto the epic moments over here, and then we can address the other stuff. It's because that damn neck hole or whatever you wanna call it, the peg hole in the head is all kind of wacky and dacky, but uh, now we can pop the pink head sculpt onto the top talents. We'll look at that in just a moment. And the Rusev is scary, man, because that long beard right there. I also don't wanna pull a Neville. Any OGs remember the Neville. All right, we got it off. All right, now we can plop the Miro head sculpt onto the Rusev just to see what this looks like. All right, it's not even really popping on there. I may have to uh, heat up the head sculpt a little bit, but let's go ahead and see if the Rusev head will pop onto the Miro. Holy God in heaven, that actually works. That's insane. All right, well, I guess we're getting... Let's just go ahead and take a look at everything that we did here today on Extra Figure Appointment. We probably already surpassed the 12-minute mark, but, you know, sometimes you gotta... Yada, 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 just see you in the next segment. All right, guys, so take a look at everything we did here today on Extra Figure Appointment. Here is the... <laughs> Here is the freaking Rusev right here, and you guys can see. Now, I will say, if you dug into the head sculpt a little bit, it would totally sit down on there. So if you dug into that and wanted to put that on there, it will work. You guys can see that it just fills up the peg too much, and it is a bobblehead. But if you modified this a little bit, it would absolutely go all the way down, and it probably would look pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this head on this body actually looks nice. I just think that you're going to you're gonna have to mod it a little bit. But if you guys wanted to see what the Rusev looked like on the, on the mirror, body this doesn't look half bad either uh, I will say that if you if you kind of like look at it at certain angles he kind of looks a little bit stumpy but I think that's just the way the Miro figure was kind of made you know so I would say the Mattel body looks better but I will say that the articulation and the feel of this in hand is great but uh, this one actually works like I don't think you need any modifications but this one is gonna need some modifications but it looks pretty damn good I'm actually pretty like I wasn't switching this to keep it there permanently but I think this could be an option for somebody if you modded that that would actually like look at that yeah, that looks pretty damn good. So I think the Miro actually turned out better than I thought. Now moving on to our Roman Reigns and our Kenny Omegas right here. The Roman Reigns looks about what you expect. You got the head of the table. You got the promo headband and everything like that. I'd really like to see like, uh, I mean, it kind of looks like joggers anyway, but I want to see the Acknowledge Me white t-shirt eventually from Mattel in cloth. That would be really dope. Here is the Kenny Omega. Again, really nice base for, you know, a Bullet Club Kenny Omega or an Elite Kenny Omega from a few years ago. Uh, just sick AF. It even has the bagginess to the tights like uh, Kenny Omega used to wear. And so if you put the Bullet Club logos on there, you had the pistol graphics, the Elite, you can put the cleaner on the kick pads. This would be really sick. I saw somebody do it on Instagram, but this looks really, really sick. And then you also have the Jeff Hardys here, which are a little bit unorthodox. You got kind of like some rainbows going on. So you have the, this one's the, what, the the new Elite or the Elite uh, Elite 84. It was an Elite 84 Jeff with the Elite 71 body. You have the Top Picks head sculpt with the epic moments sleeves that actually looks pretty good with the yellows and the blues tying in that looks pretty dope i like that and then you have the pink with the i mean the yellow on the belt kind of throws it off but the blue right here does match that like you guys can see that if you painted this yellow pink that would be pretty cool you know you'd have the dual colors kind of matching and everything like that but i think that pretty much wraps up our action figure appointment man a little bit of unorthodox stuff going on here today but i think it uh it turned out all right and it probably gave you guys some ideas of your own so i was pretty happy with it i think we turned out all right even though we have have our freaking bobblehead mirror right here which is hilarious but anyways guys that is pretty much going to wrap up the appointment i think we did surpass the 12 minute mark but sometimes that's how it be you know sometimes it'd be that way but anyways guys thank you so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like the bobblehead mirror you cross the line